Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to use a combo box to retrieve data to the program. Here I have added a combo box and three labels. What I want to do is show the selected item of the combo box in the label named as label 3. Let's go ahead and add numbers from 0 to 10 to our combo box and save the item list. Then let's run the program. This will not actually make any sense. What we want to do next is to set the initial selected item to 0 and set the initial text of the label 3 to 0. Let's write some code. I will add the needed initial conditions to the place where the combo box is initialized. To set the selected item to 0, I will add the code this dot combo box 1 dot selected index equals 0 because 0 is the first item of our combo box list. Likewise, I want to change the initial text of the label 3 to 0. Now run the application. You can see this is what we want at the beginning of the program. But if we select different items of the combo box, label is not going to change. Let's implement that too. Under the properties window related to the combo box, you can see a tab called events. There, you can see many events that are related to the combo box. Using these events, we can trigger whatever we want whenever a change happens to the combo box. What we need to do is update our label whenever the selected item of the combo box gets changed. So double click on that selected item changed event. A method will be generated in form CS and also some code is added to the designer file. Please note that our previous initializing command has been replaced by the new code so let's add that code part again. We can write code within the method in form CS file. Let's type label 3 dot text equals combo box 1 dot selected item to string. Run the program and you can notice now there are no more errors. This is what we expected and the label gets updated according to the selected item. Thank you for watching this tutorial.